My name is Monkey J and welcome to the Monkey Cage. In today's video, we'll be building a weather system in Unity 3D. So without further ado, let's get raining. Okay, okay. No, cut that off, cut that off, cut that off. Cut that off. Let's not put dead jokes in this video, right? This video is going to be part one of three because in this video, we'll be raining. In the second video, I'll tell you guys how to make snow. And in the third video, I'll be showing you guys how to make dust effects. And this is fully customizable, fully controllable, which means you can also control the rate of raining and snowing and dusting. That's even a word. All right, let's get raining. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the scene that I've created. This is like a sample scene of a game that I'm working on and this will be released in September and uh, yeah, I'm still working on it. It's in the early, early stages. But anyway, so we're going to get started with creating an empty game object. So I'm just going to create an empty game object over here. I'm just going to call this weather system and I gotta make sure that I zero out everything so that it doesn't appear in different locations that I won't, don't want it to appear in. And uh, I'm just gonna pull this up here so that you see this, you see why later, but I want the raindrops to have um, sort of like started at the top and then like pour down. You know, it has this effect that you'll notice in a little bit. But anyway, we're gonna get started with this. Let me just create a new script and I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this weather manager. All right, I'm just gonna add that script over here. So let's just put that script. Let's put weather manager. For this to work, we need a particle system in the scene. And this particle system will be attached to the script such that we can turn it on and off. Like the drain can be controlled like whenever you need it. You can also randomize it, which we'll look at in the next video. But in this video, I just wanna control this rain. We're gonna create the rain system first. All right, so in this game object, I'm gonna right click this and I'm gonna create, I'm gonna go over to effects and I'm gonna create a particle system. I'm gonna call this um, rain. Right, as you can see, there's already rain coming. <laughs> there's barely any rain there, but there's something. Right, we're gonna make it look like rain now. All right, now that we've got this particle system going here, which looks like a blob of rain just stuck in one place, looks like a glitch, but we're gonna change that. We're gonna start off by changing the gravity modifier over here. So if you change this to something like um, two, yeah, so you change the gravity of that, it starts falling down. It's starting to look like rain. You also notice that the weather system, the particle system is now behind the scene. If you're facing an issue like that, that's because of your sorting order. Um, one other thing that you gotta make sure is that the weather system, you just select the weather system and make sure that the Z axis, so the Z position is set to minus one so that it's in front of uh, the scene. But one other thing that you gotta do is you gotta click on the particle system. You gotta go over to render over here and make sure that uh, you change, sorry, you change the sorting, the order in the layer. So you can change whatever layer that you want to change to. Just got to give a um, big value to it, uh, but ensure that it's above every other layer in your scene. So in this case, I'm just going to say 20 and you'll notice immediately that it pops to the front and you can see the rain is now falling in front of our scene. But the problem is it's not looking like rain. A, the rain droplets are huge and B, it's falling like a broken pipe. You gotta change that. So to do that, go over here and change the scale of this rain. So I'm gonna put something like 0.075 to get that droplet size pretty much. And I'm also gonna change this to the Y value to something like 0.5 and we'll get that like tiny droplet effect. Like it's, it's gonna look like a line, a tiny line. That's great, but now we gotta fix the broken pipe. So to do that, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over to shape and I'm gonna go to scale here. And I'm gonna put something like 300 or I'll make it like 350. And you'll notice that the rain droplets now spread out. Now it's starting to look like rain, which is great. Um, you also can control the rate of rain. And to do this, you had to go over to emission over here. In the emission section, rate over time, this value will determine how much of rain droplets will be generated in the particle system. So if you change this to a bigger value, you'll immediately notice that the rain becomes bigger. But I wanna keep it to something like 40. It's like, it's like starting to rain, but not too much. But we can control this with the script. But now we've got something that looks like rain. 
if you look at this now, the scene is actually starting to look like rain, which is great. Um, one other thing that you guys can do is that you can change the look and feel of the rain. To do that, we're gonna have to create a new material. So you're gonna go over to my materials folder and I've actually created a rain material because I'm smart now. Uh, but I've created a rain material before, but let's create a brand new one. I'm gonna go over here and then create, right click, create a material. We're gonna call it rain map. We've got a rain material already, but I'm going to call it rain mat. All right. So uh, the look and feel of this, I can just click on this. I can just set something like this, a blue color, but I will adjust it such that there's a transparency to it. Um, this looks great. It looks good enough. Now I'm going to go over to my rain particle system. I'm going to go over to render, renderer. Once again, and I'm gonna change the material over here. So the material is set to default particle system, but I'm gonna change this to rain mat. Now, the material of your rain will be changed. And there you go, if you look at the game, now you'll notice your blue color is starting to look. I have a feeling the previous one with the default particle system material looked great, better than this one, but um, I still can modify this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change, while I'm in game mode, I'm gonna change the look and feel of this to something more transparent, something more light bluish, something light grayish to match my scene. And uh, yeah, something like that actually. That looks that looks good. You know what, I might just scratch off the material, but it's up to you guys. If you guys wanna have the material, you can keep it and you can modify it. Um, but in my case, I think I'm gonna stick to the default particle, uh, default material, cause it looks great on my scene. So it depends on your scene and what kind of background you're working with. Now that we have that, all we gotta do is we gotta control the rain. We want the rain to be turned on and off whenever you need. So to do that, you're gonna go to our script that we created at the beginning of this video. We're gonna open that up. Easy peasy. You're gonna open up with the manager in visual code. And, and here we go. We got a blank slate just the way I like it. I'm gonna create something called, um, we're gonna just create a variable called public pool is raining. And by default, I'm gonna set it to false, but you can control this through the code. All right, so you're gonna create, um, all you gotta do is, all you gotta do is, when the script is loaded, we're gonna check if it is raining or not. And depending on that, we're gonna enable and disable the particle system. To do that, we need a reference of the particle system. And so therefore we're gonna create a public game object rain system. All right, now that we have a reference to our rain system, we can enable it and disable it whenever we need. And one other thing that I would do, okay, I'm just gonna go to start now. I'm going to set if is raining is enough. We're just going to set set active true. And you guessed it. Else brain system dot set active false is enough, right? Now when we run the script, it's going to check if it is raining. If so, activate it or else deactivate it. Back again in Unity, all you gotta do is set the references. So I'm gonna go to weather system and you'll now see a new game object slot called rain system. I'm just gonna drag my rain system on it and I can just toggle this on and off. So since this is false right now, I'm just gonna run this to see what it looks like. It's gonna deactivate that game object. We're not gonna have rain. As you can tell, it's not raining. Um, there you have it. But if I enable this, I will get rain. They call me the rain man. That's because I make it rain. Dad jokes. We got rain going on now. Easy peasy. And in the next video, we're gonna make this fully customizable as in we're gonna control the rate of rain. We're also gonna add snow to this so that this weather system is fully complete with rain snow, dust, and that is it you guys, simple enough, a rain system that looks great on your 2D games. I'll see you guys in the next video, it's Monkey J signing off from the Monkey Cage.